Hey boys, welcome back to some Warriors career mode. Uh, but in this game, we're actually going to be playing our first Origin match. Obviously, had to get through the uh, the picking of the team for the next round, which I think is against the Eels. But we are uh, we're going to be playing our first Origin game. As you see, a few a few big name injuries. Um, Valentine Holmes, obviously, we do have the replacement there. Greg English just comes straight in, but. Uh, in the forward pack, unfortunately, Matt Scott and Dylan Napa are both out through injury, which is it's pretty it's a pretty big couple of losses, really. Um, so I switched up the team, obviously. Uh, one thing I d <laughs> before anyone says yes, I know Cooper Cronk and Thurston are the wrong way round. I didn't even think about it. So Thurston is going to be playing halfback. Cronk is going to be playing five eight. So yeah, I completely forgot until we got into the game. But that is what has happened. But uh, I think we got a good side. We'll look at the the New South Wales side there. Nofa Luma, um, Jared Croker, um, Matt Pryor's there, Peter Wallace. But he what? Peter Wallace probably would have been there this year and, until he got injured. Moylan, uh, Tamo back in the side, and there's our side. It's a it's a very good team, in my in my opinion. The forward pack is obviously a little different. Corbin Sims comes into the starting side with Jared Wallace uh, as well and then the bench Cooper Hess Morgan and Brenton Lawrence comes in to the side I, I, I like Brenton Lawrence quite a bit and obviously with squat, uh, Scott and Napper out we needed a a few uh, a few new guys could have um you know there was also like Ethan Lowe um, wait was Cohen was Cohen Hess in the side I can't even remember I don't think was Cohen Hess even in the squad? I'm so confused now because Cohen Hess probably should have been there, but whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know where Cohen Hess was. Maybe he was... Was he on the bench? I can't even remember, but we, we're we on the attack early on. I'm not even going to worry about that. I, I have no idea, but uh, yeah, we're on the attack here. Unfortunately, the uh, play wasn't quite on there going for that flat man. The uh, defense rushed up and put the, put the big hit on as we spread it out here. Beautiful ball movement onto Dane Gagwa. Steps the fullback. And he's going to streak away here and score a beautiful try to start proceedings. This was one of the nicest tries I've scored. And, you know, th this sort of try right here, it was so easy to score in Rugby League Live 3 that it didn't really ever feel very, you know, it was so easy to do. But in this game, actually, like, spreading it sideline to the sideline like that and actually getting your winger away, it's hard to do. And uh, dang, Gagai just finishing off beautifully. And also, Cameron Smith is converting. Uh, during the game, I do switch uh, Thurston to the uh, to the kicker. So um, yeah, that uh, that will that will definitely happen. Don't worry. I actually think I think Lachlan Coots the fullback as well for the Blues, which is very strange. I think it is. If I if I remember correctly, it's definitely a uh, a fairly weird one. Um, but yeah, that was, that was just such a nice try as we spread out to the right here. Greg Inglis definitely should be a go-to man for us. Uh, very, very good in the game. So try to use him as much as possible as Kronk just goes for a little little chip in behind there. You know, no, not bad place to turn the ball over. Not the best option either. But, uh, you know, we started this game off pretty strongly. Um, not many points, but uh, good defense. Although Tamo there, nice little ball to him. Goes straight through. A, uh, a yawning gap as the Blues get a chance late in this first half. Mitchell Pierce gets it on to Maloney there. The halves are linking up. But uh, third tackle here, a couple of minutes to go. And Tamo again through the gap. He's had a bit of a barnstorming uh, time off the bench here. But yeah, a fairly different Blues team on the game here. It's it's fairly weird, I will be honest, as uh, Wade Graham takes that, that hit up there. And our last play, the last play before the half as well, it's going to go to Pierce, and he's just going to take the tackle. Very poor play by Mitchell Pierce there. Not, uh, you know, King game in Origin, nef never too good, but uh, right there, you know, you got to get, got to get something on the ball. As our uh, Thurston there throws the, uh, throws a dummy, probably could have gone to uh, Chambers on the wing, but you know, to take the tackle, probably not the worst decision. Uh, but right there, that's that's one of my gripes. As soon as like your half gets tackled on like last play. Your other half doesn't actually get into the play at all, so you've got to they just pass it to whoever. And unfortunately, Gagai was really close to the defensive line, so there wasn't really much I could do. But the Blues get a chance here. Paul Gallon gets a late little offload there to um, Maloney. 
And uh, yeah, we want to defend our line here. It'd be nice to uh, hold them out. And Peter Wallace puts in a, a shocking little kick there. I think it was only four tackle as well. So not uh, not a great option there. It's 20 minutes to go in this game. You know, fairly nervous. I'll be honest, it's right here. We try to get this little offload away. Similar to what we did in the first half for our try. But this time they're going to call... It must have been called a forward pass. And they knocked it on after that. I thought it was a little hard done by is Jack Bird almost gets straight through Cooper Cronk comes up with a nice try saver as uh, Mitchell Pierce attacks the line but I was pretty nervous at this stage I mean six up definitely not comfortable and this you know rugby league live four is just it's got me on edge every single time but right there I read the I read the play Maloney little fella there just rushed out of the line put the big hit on felt good to nail Maloney like that and uh, we turn the ball over good stuff so uh been under 20 minutes to go. Just uh, got to play smart here. As uh, Billy Slater, perfect ball to Cooper Cronk, bursting through the hole. That was there was just uh, just a lovely play. And uh, you know that's that's what I'm talking about. The passing, the passing is not bad in this game. You just have to, you just got to pick your passes. As soon as you see a hole, you can you can go for it. But if there's no hole there, just just hold the ball. As uh, a good kick here by Thurston on four tackle, and a uh, good chase here by Josh Papali putting uh, pressure. On Lachlan Coote, it is Lachlan Coote, so yeah, very, very strange. I don't know why Coote is the fullback, but you know, maybe he's playing really well in the in the game as a beautiful little inside pass to Billy Slater, just looking for some tied forwards around the ruck, but uh, good defense on him as uh, Morgan goes out the back to Thurston, back on the inside of Gagai, he streaks away, puts in a little chip there, not a bad option, and Chambers is somehow going to get the, uh, the bouncing ball. Really nice enterprising play there as our last tackle. And uh, I was going to go for the field goal. Cohen Hess is actually playing. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we're going to score a nice try to just finish off the game here. I was going to go for the field goal. Um, but it was actually it was actually Cohen Hess who I was talking about before. Apparently, I couldn't see him on the bench. I probably mentioned him. I just forgot all about it. But he got in the way and just a nice bit of passing to uh to give Brenton Lawrence his first try and just finishing the game off beautifully there played pretty well this game defense was outstanding by the boys and the attack was looking pretty good obviously the Blues good defensively as well it's hard to crack them but we uh, made some good plays and uh, got it going as a few a few passes there Lawrence gets nailed but uh, a good finish nice to finish with a try as well so it's a bit of a bit of a lead. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to like if you are and I'll see you guys next time.